Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the <laughs> 85 Road to the Knockout Fred. And as you can see, my voice is not matching up with the video. Look, I started the recording, alright, I recorded everything through and then I realized once I'm editing that my voice never recorded. So uh, I am stupid, that is very unfortunate. I am so sorry for that guys. So you're going to have the video of me, my webcam playing in the background because when I record my videos, it's, it's all together so I can't separate that. But yeah, I am terribly sorry about that. But let's talk about Fred. Let's talk about Fred. Because look, this card, it, it, it looks crazy as you can see, right? It looks absolutely insane. High, high work rates, which are super fantastic. Four star, four star. His in games are very, very, and I mean, very nice. If you play with this gold card, you've probably liked it a lot. It's very, very good. I play with it, I really like it. And this one is just even better, man. It's just absolutely incredible. Very good pace. The dribbling is very, very nice. The fitness stats are very good. The physical stats are incredible. It's only 80 physical because he only has 61 strength, as you can see. But everything else, I mean, 99 aggression, 99 stamina, 92 jumping. It's incredible. Solid player trait as well. So we're going to tr we tried him out, played with him. A shadow, as you can see, I did put a shadow. I was going to put an anchor on him. But... I figured, you know what? Let me just let, let, let me just go ahead and stick the shadow on him because if I'm gonna try him, I want to see how good he is, right? So we did go with the shadow, and look, let's get to the good. thing. Well, let, let me talk. Let me talk about the, the the one bad thing about this card, and it's honestly the strength. Okay, it's because it's very weak, right? It's 67. You're gonna see in a couple of the clips here that he does get, you know, just he goes for a tackle, he kind of wins it, and then he gets like shoved off very easily. And again, it's only 67 strength. So that, that is pretty much the biggest downside. I'd say the only downside of this card. Uh, his aggression is 99. It's stupendous. It's a very, very good aggression is super important. Uh, so it's really, really good. And that, that kind of makes up for what he doesn't have in the strength, honestly. Uh, but just do keep in mind, he is not the strongest person in the world. Now, this guy was playing a bit toxic. He was just holding the ball a bit. He was waiting for me just to go out to him. So, and I, I didn't. I was like, you know what? I'm winning 1-0. I don't care. You're the one who has to score, not me. But Fred works the midfield very, very nicely. Again, he is high, high. And I did have his... He was my main CDM for these matches. And I did have him at stay back while attacking. And surprisingly enough, he did not really push forward unless I told him to. He actually stayed back, and I was actually pretty shocked because, I mean, you got the work rates, right? It's high, high. It's telling you what the player is going to do, but the fact that an instruction can really cancel that out, it doesn't really make sense. I don't think it really should be allowed, but, I mean, it is what it is. He stayed back. He did his job. He wasn't pushing forward, so I was happy with that. His passing, very, very good, okay? Very, very good. The passing on his goal card is a bit iffy. Uh, it's it's not really good. The stats are decent, but it's not really, really good. So you can see this first game, he got 8.7. That's his heat map. He had six possessions ones, which is very, very good. And then the second team I came up against, man, <laughs> he came up against Neymar, Messi, freaking Fakir, Nato Sanchez. But you know what? He didn't care. He was inspired by freaking Max Sauce. And he said, you know what? Let me take care of business here against the GOATs. And he did. Defensively, he's solid, guys. He's super, super solid. His interceptions are very good. His standing tackle is, is just excellent. Honestly, it's just excellent. It's really, really good. And it's just he's so short and agile and quick that I, I said this. Who did, I think I said this on the Barella review. I'll say it with Fred. If he misses a tackle, don't get discouraged. He's going to catch up very quickly. He's going to get back to the fend very, very quickly. He'll catch up to any player very, very quickly. Again, the shadow does give him a 95 acceleration. Okay, that's why I do recommend the shadow because it's the. I think his sprint speed is it's 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 a lot less than his acceleration. So that's why I, I think it's only 78 on this on the, the on the card. So with the shadow, of course, up to 88 acceleration, 95. So do put the shadow because it, it's going to make a huge, huge difference. It's just the anchor is wasted. The anchor boosts his physical stats as well. And you don't need it. His strength is so low, it's not really going to make a difference. So it's just very unnecessary. So do put the shadow on him. Passing is incredible. Dribbling, I wanted to show that goal because it was actually a very nice goal by Fakir. Uh, dribbling is very, very good as well. 
if you win the ball with him, do not be scared to dribble with him, okay? Because he is exceptional. He has very good dribbling stats. His ball control is very, very good. The actual dribbling of the card of him, like his actual dribbling, is very, very nice. And again, it's a four-star, four-star player that's super solid defensively. I, I, I wish I didn't have to. I sold him because, of course, I just buy him for the review. But I wish I didn't have to sell him because he is just an absolute rock in that midfield role. Uh, it's it's no Kante. I'm not saying it's Kante. Nothing compares to Kante. But honestly, for me, he is just he's the second best uh, CDM. Uh, I know he, in, in, in the Prem. It's just Kante is the only guy that really beats him. Uh, for me, Fred just he, he takes that spot, man. He's it's just, again, very, very good. Super solid defensively. If you get him, if you pack him, use him. You are not going to be disappointed with him. And United, of course, have the chance for the upgrades. They need to win, I think, two more games in the row. I think they started counting it from last week uh, for all the cards. I think, don't quote me on that, I think that's what they did. So, United, look, he had 11 possessions won in that second game. That's absolutely crazy. So, an upgrade will be very welcome. I really hope they get it. I really hope United don't choke and they get an upgrade. Two upgrades, the possibility for two, because it's going to be very, very nice on this card. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Sorry again about this voiceover. I'm, I just got so frustrated once I, I realized that that was happening. So my apologies for that. But thank you guys so much for the support as of late. We really do appreciate it. There are plenty of reviews coming out today, guys. So be uh, sure and do check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please, uh, do take care of yourselves, <laughs> each other, and your families. And I will see you guys in the next video.